Hi, I'm Keith Miller, and I want to talk to you about the three ways to get the spark going again in your relationship. The first thing is to close all the exits in your relationship. Now, what does that mean? What is closing an exit? Well, think about this. Like in your house, when it's cold outside and you're running the heat, you close all the windows and the doors, right? You keep the heat inside. And in a relationship, that's what we try to do. We try to keep the connection between you and your partner, and that's going to keep the intimacy inside but what happens life gets busy we you know we have a job of course obviously we you have kids you maybe have a spiritual community you belong to you have friends family you're opening all of these doors they deserve your intimacy and attention all these other priorities some of them are unavoidable like you know a job or having kids um we could argue with that but um some of them are really good and they bring good things into your life. But if you're struggling with intimacy and you're finding yourself in a rut, you want to get the spark going again, it's time to close the doors and the windows. That means less energy going outside the relationship. So real quick, just come up with like three or four things that you're doing that are draining energy and intimacy and attention from your partner. The second thing you can do today to get the spark going in your relationship is to start doing some caring behaviors that you've long ago maybe stopped doing. You know, we get busy, again, those exits open up and we stop doing things that are really easy to please our partner. Um, so come up with a list of things. You don't even have to share this with your partner. You can do it in secret. Um, come up with a list of things and, and then, you know, maybe you do this exercise together and you separately come up with a list of things that you stop doing that you want to, you know, just easily, you just, can totally easily do those things again. Uh, making eye contact when you first come into the room, um, saying good night to each other, those seem like simple things. Come up with a list of things and start doing a couple of them, the easiest things. Start with the easiest things that are just no brainers and start doing those caring behaviors, getting him a cup of coffee when you make yours, something like that. Little gestures go a long way. The third thing that you can do is to start spending quality time together again. I can't say this enough, but you know, we get busy and other things take priorities. So what is quality time? Well, it's undistracted time. It means you're not on your phone. You're not dealing with kids. Um, you're not thinking about work. You're not dealing with problems. You're there just to have fun. So start to have fun again, schedule date nights, you know, scheduling physical intimacy so you can slow down, you know, instead of getting on to the next thing or squeezing your partner in at little conversations here, especially if you have busy lives, you're going to really need to have that quality time together. So those are three great things you can do to get the spark back in your relationship. My name is Keith Miller, and I designed a course that can actually really help you troubleshoot all the things that may be difficult that cause the spark to go out in the first place. It's called Mindful Marriage, and it's a mindfulness-based stress reduction course for couples that you take over seven weeks. It's an online curriculum, lots of exercises, videos, tutorials, and that sort of thing. And we meet once a week. So it's a live class. We meet online once a week for two hours, and I give lectures so you're getting accountability for those exercises that you're doing in between groups. You get to hear how it's working in other relationships. You realize that you're not alone. So you get accountability and you get um, encouragement. Most importantly, that's the overwhelming feedback that I've had from people that just finished my last course is how encouraged they were after hearing where other people are at with some of these things. It's so easy to feel alone. You can find out about this course called Mindful Marriage at soulofliveshow.com forward slash mindful dash marriage.